One of the last times I was here was I uh, I was going to go to the Picasso Museum. It was like 30 fucking euros or something. And I thought, you know what? With Picasso, I spent 30 euros. I come see my pictures. So, this is the main square. The walking tour is going from behind me now. So I'm going to go on that. So, this is it. Here we are. Last day in Malaga. Check it out, this is a, uh, see the oranges here, they're actually bitter, but they're good for the smell, and it's a Muslim thing, didn't realise that, Moorish people, you see them a lot over Morocco apparently, didn't see it when I was there, so this is the, uh, the Roman uh, cathedral I guess, what is it, it's the, uh, the uh, what is it, Teatro, Amphitheater and up here is that's Ricky Martin's fucking uh, his apartment on top there. So he's here six months of the year, and I'll probably get to this one later. Entrance is 350. 350? Can't believe it! Right, let's go to the beach for a swim. So I was gonna go swimming, then I thought I finished the tour down here, and then I thought I'll go back, go swimming, get my stuff, and then go. I have to leave my wife at the hostel and then come back and then come over here and see this Moorish uh, fort. But I thought, you know what? I'll just stay here, have tapas, have a beer, then go down there and up there and then go over there and go swimming. Ah, uh, life is complicated. Life is complicated. Yeah. So, flight tonight at 20 past 11, uh, arriving in Ireland at. Really after midnight, so I have the date to play with, so all good. Right, so this is the Moorish uh, fortress we're going up to visit. They tried to take this fortress, the Catholics, five times, but they weren't successful because uh, the gates are at the sides, and many gates going in, and they couldn't get over or climb over, or there's nothing they couldn't, couldn't get into. It. At the time, it was built about 1100 years ago, in, in 1100 actually, so about a thousand years ago. When the Vikings actually came out of, went home, this, this, this carry on was starting. What's interesting, right, is the Phoenicians founded uh, Malaga. And they're asking a question, what was, the, uh, what was the mineral that found here? And I guess the right, because I was out swimming yesterday, and I noticed the Boyne Sea, is much better here than it was the last place I was swimming, which was Mabaya maybe. So anyway, I thought, oh yeah, I must be salt, but actually I had salt mines here. They didn't get it from the sea. <clears throat> but there is a lot of salt here, obviously it's in the sea as well. There is a lot of salt around here, and that's what the Phoenicians wanted, because obviously it was a kind of currency. So let's go up there for a look and see what we can learn. So they have eight doors going in here. So if you ram this door, they would run in here see they have holes to shoot down and then have another door here get past that door and then see they can look to shoot at you down narrow doors too so if you can get in everyone can't get in so it's a whole series of passages and doors and that's why this, they were never able to take this place because they weren't able to get people in to make a difference and by the time people got in they killed them all and that's how the Normans designed their, for their fortresses too one person could fend off a whole army 
with the stumble steps and the staircases to have certain steps which people would fall over that other people would know about or narrow passages where basically one person could kill anyone coming along and another one another one and then could kill you from there pour hot water on you anyway let's go in so there's a Roman amphitheater that's older than this place. This was built in the 1100s. So the amphitheater was built by the Romans. So check it out. There's parts of it missing. And guess what we have here? Some of the columns are here. One, two, and in there. So they just kind of like, rather than quarry. They use this place down here as a quarry. They took all the stones they wanted. And they brought them up here. And then same thing happened in Rome. With the Colosseum. A lot of the buildings in the city have stones from the Colosseum. So let's keep going. Ricky, Ricky Martin's house is over there behind the trees. His apartment. Right, come on. What's interesting about this, right, is that you see here all the buses and buildings going out to the sea. But all this land was reclaimed land from the sea. When the water level dropped, the people here, they uh, they built up this land here and claimed it from the sea. So, see the Plaza Taurus over there? So basically, in the old map, the sea actually came right up here to the edge of the wall. And now it's way out there, like 184 meters or something. So, quite cool. Let's go. So this is their oven, where they made their bread and stuff, I guess. El Horno. <coughs> the oven. So they lit the fire under it. I suppose it's under. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep exploring. What a day, huh? Fuck, this is winter, boy. So, the Catholics tried to get in, right? They couldn't get in. They tried five times, and then I think they started them out in the end, and that worked, I think. But, you know what? Well, it was easier. I paid 350 to come in. I should have just paid 350 and come in. You know what I mean? Out in Blarney, right, in Cork, there's a castle, and uh, some guy went up to the door one day, knocked on the door. They opened the door, and they, that's how they invaded. They just knocked on the door, so there you go. That's all I know about invasions. Let's go next one to the beach, I think. Now, I know, right, one of the first evidences we have of a production line is when the Romans were making those bricks for the Colosseum in Rome. They had a system of making them. I'm pretty sure that was the first production line. Because you have to be kind of organised when you're doing that kind of stuff. When you're making millions of different things. <clears throat> What's that joke? I like eating rice because I can eat thousands of things without feeling full or something like that. Bill, what's his name? The guy that died of the overdose? Uh, Bill Hicks, I think it is. So, check it out. Pretty cool. Still standing. Right, that one is that was the one for the road. No, going swimming next. So this is Larius Street back in 1880. This guy Larius, who owned the gin company, he uh, he bought all the houses on the street and knocked them all down and built these these buildings here. So he built the whole street. It's called Larius Street. And now they make gin and they they're super rich. So, so if you come here, don't fuck with them. And if you want to buy, a, if you want to rent an apartment here, you have to base your application has to go to Larius family in Madrid. They're based in Madrid now. They're very powerful, and all the cultural events happen on the street. So if you live here in the balcony, have a balcony up there, for example, you see everything. Mash cut. Mashkinada is the Brazilians would say. More for nothing. Right. 
going to the train to the airport. Let's get the fuck out of here. Wonderful. It's been wonderful. It has, it has, it has. So anyway, this is Malaga, Saturday morning. Missed my flight last night. So Keith Richards uh, was once caught with drugs in Canada and he was asked what he was going to do after it. He said, I'm gonna write it, I'm gonna make a song and make a million dollars out of this. So that's one way of seeing a bad situation. So if I can make 10 euro off this video, that would be great, great, great. So keep clicking, keep clicking. So I'm just gonna have I'm having a coffee while I'm waiting for my flight over there. So I had to go back into Malaga last night and I had to buy another ticket and come out, but even though everything went wrong, everything was good. It was a good experience. So now, now we play the waiting game.